Hey, uh, I don't know if you can hear me real well or not, but it's me again. Oh, Jason Rope with Primitive Life Training. Making some, uh, some raw hide here out of a deer hide. Oh. Got the, uh, <clears throat> Side pretty clean. I'm gonna scrape it one time. As you can see, I did rip a hole there. It's very easy to do on the hair side. You gotta go easy. So anyway, I'm using this for knife sheaths. So uh, most of this is gonna be incorporated into my sheath. So you know, I gotta really be careful with this. Uh, but anyway, uh, sort of just like with doing a book scan. We got to this stage and uh, had my scraper here that I made from actually the butt of a knife. And there you go. It's beveled and flattened on the other end because you're going to scrape with this part of it like this down the hive. So I'm going to kind of sit this over here for a minute and. Uh, that way you can see, you're not gonna probably hear very well, but I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. I'm just gonna be showing you how I scrape. So. Right, here we go. So, you're gonna put your hand on it like this, and it's gonna be straight down. get that white dermis layer coming off with your hair. Try to get it to focus in on it right there. And it's not gonna do it, so. But anyway, that's what you wanna see coming off your hair 
or with your hair is that dermis layer. <clears throat> if you can't hear me good, I'll type it up what's being said, but when you see that coming off with it, you know you're getting it right. Sometimes you get in a spot like that. Sometimes you get in a spot like that where it's kind of still damp and you just gotta go around it and get what you can and let it dry a little bit more. So anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, probably scrape the rest of this off tomorrow and uh, scrape the other side and everything, get it cleaned up and there you go. Got you some raw hide. <laughs> Of course, raw hide from a cow would be a lot thicker, a lot stiffer. But I like it from these little woodland creatures called white-tailed deer. They got the nicest hides when you tan them and brain tan them, but unfortunately, I'm not going to get to brain tan this one. I didn't get the brain in time you have to be careful too not to let your 
scraper slip and go this way like that because you'll slice it right in half so you make sure that you're always going down on that hide straight and yes you'll knock the crap out of your fingers and stuff but the end product is always worth it I've tanned them many a hides and I learned how to make raw hide for drum covers and bow backing from my dad and my granddad. And I learned how to make buckskin by reading John McPherson's book. I do it just like he did it in the book, Naked and Into the Wilderness. If you get a chance, that's a good book to read. Uh, he's Cody Lundeen's teacher and Survivor Man's, one of Survivor Man's teachers anyway. Uh, Cody uh, went to this guy when he was real young, and John is the one that pretty much got Cody into the primitive thing. So, uh, be a good idea to read his books, man. He, he pretty much knows his stuff. hard keeping my camera going and watch my hide at the same time so as you see I'm making pretty good progress with this sometimes you can go against the grain like that sometimes you got to go right with it but ugh, gotta move it over a little bit <sighs> And you just continue on. Scraping hair off your hide until you wind up with one big piece of raw hide leather. Worthy of almost any project in the primitive sense. In my opinion, anyway. If you treat it right and do it right, watch what you're doing. You'll come out with a pretty hide every time. If you really skin it out right, boy, you can have some good looking buck skin if you ain't got holes in it like that. I'm gonna try to attempt to build a bigger stretching frame and have it set up where I can stretch my hide out differently. And uh, see how that goes next time. But I got big holes like this right here already in the hide, so I just decided to do raw hide. But anyway, this is Jason Roten with Primitive Life Training. Hope you enjoyed.